Hello, hi guys. Um, it's me doing the review on the um, Mar uh, Tokyo Marui um, pistols again, airsoft. And uh, you may have noticed uh, from my last videos that uh, at the corner I had uh, a new box, which is the um, Glock 17, also from Tokyo Marui. And uh, but I haven't really tested it properly yet, uh, and I'm still, you know, finding out uh, what this pistol can do and uh, what it's capable of and what it is not. Uh, from my last experience with it, um, I had the um, uh, the test shooting test, uh, three shooting test uh, to target with this uh, Glock 17. And uh, actually, it can take uh, green gas. Okay. Well, uh, last time I didn't use this, I was using this uh, uh, ET1000, which is also Taiwanese um, green gas. And uh, it didn't shoot as well as my MMP9. MMP9 uh, Smith & Wesson MMP9 could take the green gas no problem. I've been shooting with green gas all the way, but and it didn't came across any problem at all. And uh, for the high capper, also the high capper 4.3, uh, this steel stainless version of it uh, took green gas very well. And uh, but for the Glock, actually I I I I saw the. Um, the catalog and the instructions actually recommended uh, for the user to use uh, 134 gas, which is uh, much weaker than green gas. But uh, all I have is green gas, so I had to find a way to use green gas. Uh, it did shoot, and uh, you know, uh, after after a while, you know, the initial. The initial shot uh, went through, but the, it didn't seem to uh, put enough pressure onto the slide to cock it again. So I had to take off the magazine and then re it for the second shot to take place. And after I, I, I shot it the second time, it seems to go fine with green gas. So I think it's ab about the um, the uh, pressure or the, this, the, the of the spring that uh, came originally with the stock uh, Glock 17. So I bought this, uh, which is the uh, Guns Modify uh, Hammer Full Set with a 150 spring system. For it, this this uh, particular set works for TM, WLE, uh, Glock 17, 26, 37, uh, 34 as well. So um, I'm gonna have this change into my pistol. See whether it still has this problem with it. But I'm not gonna do this in this video because I'm tired. I uh, I, I think I had a week out already not doing any videos at all, review on, on uh, any of my pistol. Uh, I'm just going to do a, a shooting test and a chrono test with the stock um, internals of this Glock 17 from Tokyo Marui. So let's uh, do the chrono test first. As you can see, I have also had uh, few upgrades. Uh, these two are for the Glocks. Um, I just came across this uh, trigger part uh, for for Glock and it's adjustable so I think that would have uh, I'll, I'll get a little bit better feel at pulling the trigger with it. But it's not necessary. I mean the, um, the stock one I'm happy with it. Uh, it does well but this one just looks nice and it's adjustable. For the stock one, you can't adjust it, so if you cut it, uh, you have to travel like about over a centimeter to actually to the point where you can activate the trigger. Okay, 
So I'm planning to shorten the distance of the trigger pull for this one as well. And uh, one of an, uh, another main upgrade I'm going to have is on my um, Tokyo Marie high kappa. And uh, this is the uh, piston head. Uh, I think it's said in Japanese that it will, it can actually um, stabilize the FPS and had a little bit better air seal to it. So let's see whether it can do any good to my pistol. I'm plan. Uh, I've always wanted to have my hard capper to reach, I mean, at least 300 FPS. Uh, after I had installed the inner barrel upgrade and the um, and the uh, hopper rubber, like last uh, in my last videos, uh, it reached around 290. And uh, I have to see whether I can reach 300 with this little upgrade here. But first of all, let's do the chrono test for the uh, Glock. So here we go, let's have the uh, chrono tested with the Glock 17. It's 237. Well, you did that again. It you know didn't put enough pressure to cock the pistol, so I have to. You know, cocked it again and uh, out. Did it again. Out again. Well, that's it. You could see the pistol didn't cock back properly. And now let's move on to the uh, accuracy shooting test for the Glock 17. I'm not sure you, it's going to work, but uh, let's try it anyway. seems to work so um, just now I have tested the um, TM Glock 17 it's actually the third generation it's that uh, they have improved over the years uh, for different ge generations but uh, just now the chrono test didn't went very well uh, every shot I have to recut the, uh, the weapon again and it's only got one result, which is 237. Uh, here you go, the FPS. Okay, and the um, for the accuracy, I would say it's pretty nice. I mean, it also around a one inch span, as in the uh, with my stock MMP9. And for the stock uh, TM high capper, okay, they both have very similar accuracy out of the box. So uh, you can see, I actually, actually, it is. I think it's a little bit more accurate with the aim as well for the Glock. You can see, it's a, there's a squarish, you know, back at uh, the rear sight here and it's non-adjustable and the uh, front white dark sight is not adjustable as well but it aimed pretty pretty good you know I got uh, aiming at that center I got like I think two or three in the bullseye here so it's uh, good 
It's a very nice pistol, but uh, for the reliability, I think with you uh, with using green gas, I think the up, uh, there are certain upgrades I I must have to install in this pistol in order to get it work. So thank you for you guys for watching, and my next video I would uh, put this piston head little upgrade on my high capper to test the FPS. Okay, so stay tuned for my next video. I think I will do in this in this couple of days and uh, see you guys.